Welcome to this Easy 11 Plus short lesson on long multiplication. You'll have studied it at school, but this should be useful revision. Especially if you're messy like me, it's really important to space out your numbers carefully so you don't get into a tangle later on. We start at the right hand end. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. And we carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10. We've got the carried 1, which makes it 11. 2 times 3 is is 6, we've got the carried 1 makes it 7, 2 times 8 is 16, and we can put the 1 here in the same row because there's nothing else to do with that space. And we've dealt with the 2, we can cross it out. Starting the next row, we need to remember to begin with a 0. If you don't do this, your answer will be wildly wrong. Now we look at the 9. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 5 is 45, we've got the carried 5 which makes it 50. 9 times 3 is 27, we've got the carried 5 makes it 32. 9 times 8 is 72 and we've got the carried 3 that makes it 75. We started the previous row with one zero, we need to start this row with two zeros. Really important. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 6 is 42. Now, remember it's so important to have strong times tables. If you had to work each of these out without just knowing it, the whole thing would take minutes longer and you'd really struggle to finish your exam in time. I often say that having really fast, really accurate times tables is one of the most important basic things that you can sort out in order to do well in your 11+. 7 times 5 is 35, we've got the carried 4 makes it 39. 7 times 3 is 21, with the carried 3 we have 24. 7 times 8 is 56, that's the one that everybody forgets, so this becomes 58 with the carried 2. The next row we need to start with, of course, 1, 2 and 3 zeros. There's an extra zero every time, it'll make a nice triangle pattern like this. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. We carry the 2, of course. 4 times 5 is 20. The carried 2 makes it 22. Again, we carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12. With the carried 2, we have 14. 4 times 8 is 32. With the carried 1, we have 33. And now we just need to add it all up. And this is where the spacing really helps because we know clearly what's in which column and it's easy to separate our answer numbers from the little carries in between. Two and three zeros gives us two. Of course, we're not adding up this stuff. That's irrelevant now. Nine plus two is 11. Carry the one. One plus four is five. Plus seven is 12. Plus the carried one, 13. Seven plus two is nine plus 4 is 13, plus the carried 1, 14. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 9 is 17, plus 4 is 21, plus the carried 1 is 22. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 4 is 19, plus the carried 1 is 20. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus the carried 2 is 10. 3 plus the carried 1 is 4. Now we just need to copy our answer out, as though in the answer space. And it's really helpful to count from the right in threes and put commas. And now we know how to say it out loud, because each comma is a word. 400 million, 424,312. And that's our answer, so let's underline it. Well, this one's massive. So we need to be extra careful with our spacing. So we start from the right. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 3 is 9 and the carry 2 gives us 11. 3 times 2 is 6, carry gives us 7. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9, the carry makes it 10. And 3 times 2 is 6 and the carry makes it 7. We dealt with that 3, we start the next line with a 0. Now for the next one we also need to times by 3. So it's going to be exactly the same apart from the 0 at the end. 4, 1, 7, 0, 
207. And the next line, we need to begin with two zeros, and now we need to multiply by two. Two times eight is 16. Two times three is six, plus the carried one gives us seven. Two times two is four. Two times zero is zero, of course. Two times four is eight. Two times three is six, and two times two is four. And now we start with one, two, and three zeros. Really, really important, this. Seven times eight is 56, of course. Seven times three is 21, plus five makes it 26. Seven times two is 14, plus the carried two makes it 16. Seven times zero is zero, but we got the carried one makes it one. Seven times four is 28. Seven times three is 21, and the carried two makes that 23. 7 times 2 is 14, and the carried 2 makes it 16. Now we start with four zeros. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Whew. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 3 is 27, but we got the carried 7, so it makes it 34. 9 times 2 is 18, and the carried 3 gives us 21. 9 times 0 is 0, but we got the carried 2. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 3 is 27, got the carried 3, gives us 30. We're almost there, we have to be very careful not to make mistakes as we head on to the home straight. 9 times 2 is 18, and the carried 3 makes it 21. And now we've got all this to add up. And this is where having set it out in a nice clear grid, even with my natural messiness, makes life so much easier. So we have add them up, we've got 4, 5, 7, 8, plus 6 is 14. Carry the 1. Two sevens are 14, plus six is 20, plus the one, 21. Two plus four is six, plus six is 12, plus two is 14, plus the two, 16. Two and six is eight, plus four is 12, plus one is 13. Seven plus eight is 15, plus one is 16, plus one is 17, plus the carried one, 18. Seven plus six is 13, plus eight is 21, plus 2 is 23, plus 1 is 24, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 6 is 13, plus 2 is 15, carry the 1, 6 and the carried 1, 7, 1 and 1 is 2, and we've got 2. And now it might be helpful to copy out our enormous answer while being careful not to introduce any new mistakes. So we've got 227 billion 548,361,454. I hope that's useful in helping you to follow through my working and see how it compares to yours. If it is, please subscribe to this channel and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 6 o'clock for my next Easy 11 Plus live lesson. Bye bye.